Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger, and in this video, I will quickly cover the Mosasaurs, Plesiosaurs, and Ichthyosaurs that lived during the Mesozoic, highlighting uh, just briefly these three groups of marine reptiles. Both the Plesiosaurs and Ichthyosaurs arose during the Triassic period from an earlier diapsid group of reptiles that predate the split of the Lepidiosauromorpha while the Mosasaurs are considered members of the Lepidiosauromorpha and more closely related to lizards and snakes. The Plesiosaurs featured elongated necks and four flipper-like limbs that they likely used to swim with complex movements of their four flippers to propel their bodies through the water. Based on models of their motion, they likely flew through the water, using them like wings to generate drag and lift. The belly of plesiosaurs were heavily ossified with thick bones in the pelvis and shoulder girdle. Recent evidence suggests that they gave a live birth in the water. Ichthyosaurs also rose during the Triassic and survived until the end of the Cretaceous. They're similar in morphology to living dolphins, but swam with a side-to-side -side motion of the tail. They also retained a reduced pelvic girdle. They have a dorsal fin and large eyes. They are remarkably well adapted to living in the ocean, and their fossils have been found across the Mesozoic marine stratigraphic record. The last group are the Mosasaurs, which arose out of a group of marine lizards called the Agiatosauridae. These were mostly small to medium-sized lizards that show clear evidence for an aquatic lifestyle with a skull that closely resembles a varanid lizard skull. The Mosasaurs quickly diversified in the late Cretaceous despite their late appearance, joining plesiosaurs and ichthyosaurs in the world's oceans. Some Mosasaurs evolved into large sizes, including Tyliosaurus and Platycarpus, which grew up to 14 meters in length and featured paddle-like limbs. All three of these groups, the plesiosaurs, the ichthyosaurs, and the Mosasaurs, died out at the end Cretaceous extinction. But all of these groups were highly successful during the long age of the Mesozoic. Let's compare and contrast their adaptations for a life in the water. All three groups developed paddle-like limbs. They show thickening skeletons or pachyostic ribs and bones. And they all were aquatic predators. In addition, they all appear to give birth in the water, which is unlike uh, sea turtles, which still need to come to shore to lay their eggs. They differ in the length of the necks, retaining all four flippers or just two flippers, the use of an undulating tail, the presence of a dorsal fin, which is not found in plesiosaurus or mosasaurus, and the wickedly long teeth that are found in plesiosaurus, where the teeth in mosasaurus and ichthyosaurus were sharp, but they were not elongated like those in plesiosaurs. Now, nevertheless, their differences and similarities, all three groups live together in the late Mesozoic oceans. All right, you should be able to compare and contrast the anatomical specializations between plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs, and mosasaurs. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjamin slash burger.org. Links are found in the description below.